the 5th of January 2022. Now, I don't expect too many of you will remember that this is the 100th anniversary of the death of the great Antarctic explorer, Sir Ernest Shackleton. He died on the 5th of January 1922 there on a ship that was anchored or moored in the bay at South Georgia Island, deep, deep down in the South Atlantic. A wild, hostile island is South Georgia. Um, as far as a leader of men is concerned in those icy climbs, those, that, that white wilderness, there, there were few better than, than Shackleton. Uh, you remember that incredible story of how he was down there with 23 odd of his men and the ship where they were uh, working and sailing went down in the ice. But not before they managed to get off and managed to retrieve some things. But they were isolated on their own and they had to fight their way back to civilization. Um, the, 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 the possibility of one getting back was very remote. The thought of getting 23 back would have been utterly, utterly impossible. But that's precisely what Shackleton did. He managed to keep those men going through the most appalling, appalling circumstances. I mean, imagine when you're down there minus 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees centigrade and you've got to keep your men going not just for a couple of days or a couple of weeks or even a couple of months we're talking about two years he kept them going inspirational leader if ever there was one um, now if ever there was an inspirational leader an inspirational man it was our Lord Jesus Christ. And in the Bible, uh, he is spoken of as the captain of our souls. No, we're not talking about Captain Shackleton. We're talking about the Lord himself, who could command seas to subside and winds to be quiet. Peace be still. And everything went calm and the disciples looked on in amazement what manner of man is this that the winds and the waves should obey him you can go down to south georgia and stand at shackleton's grave graves usually lie from east to west um, or west to east Shackleton lies in the little graveyard in, on South Georgia, north to south. But there he lies. Um, there's no grave for, for Jesus. He is the pioneer of our salvation. There is the one who leads us into dark, remote places. He is the one who says, do not be afraid, for I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead. Behold, I am alive forevermore and I hold the keys of death and of Hades. This 5th of January, the story of Shackleton is a great story, but it is not half as great as the story of the living Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.